What's up guys, Coach Chester here. Today's walk and talk is taking place in North Richland Hills, Texas. Uh, final day before I head back to New York City tomorrow. Uh, gonna keep this one quick. Today's about, um, today's walk and talk is about accountability. Um, I get a ton of people Facebook messaging me, texting me, emailing and all that stuff, you know, saying, hey Jet, help me get in shape, you know, and I totally love that, love it. Um, and I had figured out my first order of business now, uh, when people ask me that, um, when they say, Hey Jet, I want to get in shape. What, what do I need to do? Cause a lot of times I'll, you know, I'll start a conversation back and forth. Like, okay, what do you want to do? What are your goals? What? And it's a really lot, it's a lot of information and we cover a lot of ground and then nothing ever happens after that. So what it's going to be now when somebody says, Hey Jetster, uh, I'd like you to help me get in shape. I'm like, awesome. First thing that has to be done is I'm gonna say, all you have to do is text me once a day, or email or Facebook, whatever, contact me once a day for one week, for five days straight, Monday through Friday, Sunday through Thursday, whatever. Uh, five days straight, text me something, okay? And it could be anything, it could just be a joke. It could be like, hey, what's up, man? I'm supposed to text you. And all we're doing is establishing that you have any sense of commitment, right? Doesn't even have to be about working out or fitness or anything. Just say, hey Jet, here's that text for the day. This is my first one. Hey Jet, this is my second text. This is my third. Five days in a row, five days in a row. And then we'll move forward with everything else, all right? Pretty simple task, right? I mean, if you can't accomplish that, it's gonna be very difficult to get you involved in any kind of workout regimen, all right? That's today. That's all for today's walk and talk. A little winded, just got through jumping with the uh, cousins on the trampoline in the backyard. Um, I don't know, know how long it's been since you guys have jumped on a trampoline, but I don't remember it actually being physically demanding, but tis. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys.